is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here and have just stumbled across the channel, welcome. So in today's video, I'm just gonna discuss, do you actually need cardio to drop body fat? Before we talk about that, it's time for breakfast. Right, for breakfast, we're just gonna have some oats and some dark chocolate. So I'm just gonna eat this quickly and then we will discuss cardio. So do you actually need cardio for fat loss? And the simple answer is no. Right, let's break this down into a simple way to understand it. Your body is a hybrid car, and we can run it off two different systems. We can either run it off electricity, or we can run it off fuel, petrol, or diesel. It's decreasing your body fat. A lot of people opt to do cardio. The reason why is you can create a bigger deficit. So say you were eating 2,000 calories, and you needed to bring it down to 1,800. If you simply did 200 calories worth of cardio, that would put you in a deficit of 1,800 don't actually have to do cardio in order to get into amazing shape. You can just manipulate your food intake to do this. So you don't actually have to do cardio is what I'm saying. Just simply decreasing your calories over a period of time can do that. So what do I think is the best way of decreasing your body fat? Well, it's simple, a combination of the two. Making sure you're decreasing your calories over a period of time and making sure that you're doing cardio and increasing that when needed. I see this all the time. When people want to decrease their body fat, the first thing they do is cardio. The problem is cardio is a tool, it's a tool that you should use wisely. It's a bit like playing poker, you don't want to play all your cards at once, so simply start off with one card and build your way up. What I mean by that is maybe start off with two or three cardio sessions a week for 20 minutes, then increase that to 25, up to 30, and then when needed you can do an extra day. Right guys, that's now explained, let's go and train. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. Easy. So team, just a little reflection on the gym session you guys have just seen. So I've just been to a new gym. I've signed up for the month. I'm gonna see how I get on. After Friday, I didn't talk about this, but on Friday, I was stuck in a massive traffic jam for about four hours um, because normally you see that I travel to the grow room and do a couple of sessions there a month. The reason why is the grow room has an amazing amount of selection of equipment, but the problem is it's on the motorway and if there's a crash like there was on Friday, you get stuck in it. This gym's only around the corner. I'm gonna try and vlog in it a little bit more often, but today I just got some phone footage for you because I didn't really wanna walk in with a big camera, and obviously I don't know what the policy is. But literally, I've just signed up to this gym just to use the equipment. It's all hammer strength for life fitness for you guys that know a little bit more. Um, so for the people that enjoy bodybuilding, you've still got that aspect, and then what I'm gonna do is use my Pure Gym membership for the conditioning, the cardio, the functionality, so we get a best of both worlds. So that's just a little update on the session. Um, and yeah, I think it went really well. I want to keep waffling on, but I hit, I surprised myself. I hit numbers that I didn't think I'd hit. But again, it was just nice to go to a new gym um, and enjoy it. Footies on tonight. England are playing Denmark. That is what I'm going to do for the evening. I'm just going to sit down, relax, and watch the football. And fingers crossed, England beat Denmark. <laughs> Just thought I'd mix it up, change the scenery a little bit, and get outdoors and continue this. So it's now the following day. I just thought I'd be outside with the sun, with nature, and just catch up with you guys. The whole purpose of this is just to say to you guys, start off with moderate cardio and then increase that when needed. So in order to get into the best shape possible, or just even to get ready for the summer, or if you've got that special occasion, I believe you should be decreasing your calories over a period of time. Do not drop them for the sake of dropping them, and then improve and increase your expenditure, making sure you find something that you enjoy. Because at the end of the day, cardio has to be enjoyable. And there are many different forms of cardio. Running, for example, I wouldn't recommend that if that is someone that's doing their strength training, but if you just want to get fit, running is 
absolutely amazing to improve your fitness. But again, if you want to decrease your body fat, you could be doing stuff like lists, low intensity steady state like walking, you could try swimming. There are many different things, even going out and playing five a side football. It's gonna to conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have liked the video, please can you give it a massive thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not currently subscribed. We're on the road to 100. We are very close to getting 100 subscribers. It would mean the world to me if you were to subscribe. Just before I leave, I just want you guys to put in the comment section, is there anything you want me to cover in any future YouTube videos? So if there's anything you're particularly struggling with or anything you wanna know a little bit more about, feel free to put it in the comment section and then I'll make a YouTube video and hopefully that can help you and get rid of all your problems. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Keep it real and I'll catch you in the next one.